Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Happy Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022, and welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Hanin. And I'm Ava. Crazy March Madness is happening, and now it's time for today's news. But first, let's all unite and honor America by standing and placing uh, our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Did you know on this day in the year 1903, Niagara Falls ran out of water because of a drought? Really? That's crazy. Last time I went, there was so much water, it was getting all over me. Today is National 3D Day. National 3D Day celebrates the art, science, and history of stereoscopic 3D imagery. Every year in March, on the third day of the third week of the third month, we explore technologies used to create 3D photographs, movies, and art. And we celebrate the many ways that these images have been viewed and enjoyed. Sir Charles Wheatstone created the first stereo 3D drawings in 1838. During the second half of the 19th century, viewing 3D photographs became a very popular form of home entertainment. The 20th century saw the invention of 3D movies, comic books, hol holography, and more ways to view re representations of the world in 3D. Recent developments in virtual, augmented, and mixed reality offer new opportunities to create and interact with 3D media. Advancements in 3D technologies bring digital images to three-dimensional life, assisting surgeons, pr projecting art around the world, and educating students. Now for the fact of the day. The tallest person to ever live was Robert Wadlow, being a staggering 8 feet and 11.1 inches. He died in, on July 15, 1940, at the age of 22. The interesting part is he was still growing till his death. So the question remains, what if he lived longer? Would he finally get to 9 feet or even 10 feet tall? Wow, I wish that I was that tall. Today's daily survey. First, yesterday's survey asked if you made a March Madness bracket this year, and surprisingly, only 28% of you created a March Madness bracket. Well, for those who did create a bracket, we wish you the best of luck, and don't forget to check out today's daily survey posted in Google Classroom. Next up, birthdays. Sorry for the confusion with birthdays yesterday. Students Ava B, Beth Harris, M, and Sarah R. Today's birthdays are students Gabriel D, Sarah F, Eva O and Ethan R. We hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate this week. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Y'all like my flowers? Hey, good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. So I had to flower that up a little bit. Glad you like that. All right, a couple new announcements here. Um, any students interested in learning how to play golf, that'd probably be me, or just getting into the swing of it, sign up for intramural golf for this week and next week. Use the Google class code or the invite to join. Our first meeting will be Monday, April 4th from 3.15 to 4.30 in the back gym. There is no experience necessary to join, all right? So there's a Google Classroom invite link, intramural golf sign up, club info. So you guys just check that out. And the Google Classroom code is QA32QWO. And again, they'll send that to you. We'll post it up on the screen. It should be up on the screen now. You guys should be able to see that. All right, intramural golf. All right, we the people, remember your competition is a couple weeks away. All your units should be all units should be meeting together frequently outside the regular meetings to get ready next meeting is thursday in the media center at 7 a.m please bring all your materials and research we will be rehearsing for the next question if you need space for your group to meet before or after school please let mr hammer or mr gutermuth know and the last time we're going to say this if you got an email about red straight a tickets Please see Mrs. Manning in the counseling office for your letter to redeem your tickets. So everybody should got that email if you're eligible to get that. Do that. Go Reds. You're going to need a lot of help this year. All right. And last but not least, if you're interested in playing soccer at the high school next year, make sure you stop by and see Ms. Tepfer in room 140 or send her an email so she can pass your name along to Coach Platts, who is the varsity coach at the high school. That's it for me. I'm out of here. Different flowers this time. Okay, spring flower, spring showers bring May flowers. At least that's what they say. But it rains all the time here.
I'm out. Have a good day. And now, Mr. Lavacrum with an important announcement. Alrighty, good morning, aviators. Hope you're having a great day. I uh, just want to give you a heads up that everyone will be receiving an email at some point over the next week or so regarding your password for your Chromebook and it needing to be changed. Uh, we want to try to get ahead of this curve in order for us to minimize any issues and problems as we approach state testing. So you're actually going to receive an email from me as well that's going to outline some steps, very step-by-step -step process on how to change your password um, in order for us to proceed with the rest of the year. Everyone's passwords have to change every six months and we're getting near that point for a majority of you. So we want to try to get ahead of this before we have any mass chaos. I want to thank uh, Mrs. Carter and Mr. Villani for coming up with a step-by-step -step process. Uh, that'll be posted on the announcements that scroll on the TVs. In addition, I'll be sending that to you from an email from me. So keep your eye out for an email from the Google that says you need to change your password. Do not delete it. Act on that as soon as possible. And then keep your eye out for an email from me with those step-by-step -step instructions. Thanks. Have a great day. And now Mr. Lavacom with Students of the Week. Good morning, aviators. Hope you guys are doing wonderful and had a great spring break. We are here with this week's Students of the Week. So for our students who are safe, responsible, problem solvers, and being respectful, first and foremost, we have Mr. Caleb Gerwee. Come on over. Congratulations. Good job. There's that. There is that. Good work. Next up, we have Anna Han. Come on up. Nice job. Nice job. Here's this. And that, congratulations. Last but not least, we have Liz Rose. Congratulations, there you are, and there you are. Thanks everybody, and have a wonderful rest of your week. Okay, what's for lunch today? For lunch, we will have spaghetti. We also will serve chicken patties. Now for the joke of the day. Which treat is a math teacher's favorite? Which one? A geometry. <laughs> Go, Go waves. waves.